Today I want to show you guys how I go about doing a dumbbell press and then some of the progressions I like to use before I actually initiate my working sets. Um, so, one of the first thing I like to start off with is a windmill. It activates the stabilizers in the shoulders and also warms up my core and immobilizes my hips to be able to then perform a dumbbell press more powerfully. The way I set up with it, first is the clean of the dumbbell is actually gonna be the same as in the windmill as it is for the actual working sets. So with the handle just slightly in front of the toes, I'll grab with my hand slightly towards the front of the dumbbell I'm gonna swing the dumbbell between my legs, between my knees to create momentum, launch it up to my shoulder, make sure that my elbow is lined up with the center of the dumbbell. Because if the elbow's at all behind the dumbbell, or the center of the dumbbell, my forces won't be in the line and the dumbbell might fall or lose power as I press into it. So again, see how I squeeze the elbow? Underneath the center of the dumbbell that's lined up. Now I can move the dumbbell behind my head. Launch it up. Now my feet, my weighted foot, the foot underneath the dumbbell now faces completely forward. The opposite foot, 45 degrees out in angle. This helps me mobilize my hips more. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Touch my toes, pause, come up. On the top, stay all the way up. And that's a windmill. That basically is gonna get you ready to press heavier weights later on. Now I only really like to work, work up to about 50% of the weight I'm gonna be doing for my dumbbell working sets. Just for a triple, just to basically wake up the movement. Now that I'm gonna go into my working sets, the very first one I actually like to do at a lighter weight than all my other ones with a pause in the bottom. That is a pause before initiating leg drive. What this allows, basically what this is gonna work is your stability and positioning of the dumbbell. Because oftentimes what I see people do as they squat, their hips will move, move or shift out of the way. And this basically gets your lats out of the way of the arm and now the dumbbell is going to fall, or simply your leg drives not going to translate right into the dumbbell. Instead, it's going to be absorbed by the arm, and then the dumbbell is going to go off at an angle. So keep your hips shifted. You're going to squat down, pause. This arm's going to stay out. Your arm's going to be locked up, lats tight. With that pause, drive up. Deep breath. Elbow in position. Squeeze the dumbbell back, arm up and back. I'm gonna pause right here. This way I secure the dumbbell in a position where it's not gonna fall or roll off my body. I become familiar with this positioning, positioning for my leg drive and I jump straight up into it. Pause, drive. Pause. And then the work begins. Now that I've basically gotten familiar with the positioning of my leg drive, woken up my stabilizers, activated my core, now I get into my explosive sets, take the pause away, up the weight, and get to do the real work. And so it goes. That's my dumbbell press. Come on and give me some more. We're gonna shake the floor. I bust down the door. You ain't seen nothing like this. Give me, give me some more. We're gonna settle the score. I spread my wings and soar. You ain't seen nothing, nothing like this. So essentially we worked with the windmill just to work up to a triple of about 50% of what you're gonna be working with with the heavier sets. Just to wake up the stabilizers, the core. Went on to the pause set just to get ready, just to get really the positioning down. And then the working explosive sets. 
which are going to be much heavier. So if you guys have any questions, comment below, and I'll be glad to get back to you.